Hey everyone, it's Zykevnex here, and greetings from Hill of Janeiro, or Hell of Janeiro, because it's freaking hot. Well, today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super, which is something I have been meaning to talk about ever since, well, always. I have always been a Dragon Ball fan, fanatic, and I'm sure most of my subscribers, or many of my subscribers, came to me during the Dragon Ball phase, Deep Look, phase, Deep Look Videos phase. So while we don't have a new Dragon Ball game to go and analysis on of all the trailers and stuff, I figured I'll talk about the what's new with Dragon Ball Super and stuff and all the power level scaling, what's happening, all my all the excitement and stuff. It's so so freaking awesome and with the last ep episode of episode 39, I just could not help it and I had to go and step forward. I I was originally going to wait for the tournament to end, but it was just so awesome, the Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, I mean Super Saiyan Blue was so, so mind-blowing, I just had to go and talk about it, let it out, because all the discussions, everything, the people were going at it, just like Dragon Ball Z all over again, the internet going absolute crazy with Goku vs Superman and stuff, and, well, I think that was able to show my passion for Dragon Ball, and I just wanted to talk about it sometime, even if it, not many people watch it or whatever. But I also have uh, many opinions about the uh, Gohan vs. Zabura vs. Broly vs. Cell, all the Boo power levels, Goku's percent tree, Gotenks, all that crap. I might talk about them in the future as well. I also want to talk about the other stuff in Dragon Ball Super, like Gohan, the power level, the story, everything the rumors, theories, and today we'll be focusing on one of the theories, that's the Goku and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and Kaioken. And how does that add up? See, I have been drinking coffee in my special Dragon Ball mug that was gifted to me. So we have four theories for our, the Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue, because back in Battle of Gods, Toriyama said that if Super Saiyan God Goku was a 6, Beerus would be a 10 and Wiz would be a 15 in power scaling. But with Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue that has been stated to be stronger than Super Saiyan God, well that just goes out of the window. So people have been trying to figure out how that stuff adds up. And well, I have four theories. The first one, the most logical one, would be that the Kaioken only multiplies the power level of the base Goku, so not the Super Saiyan Blue. In which case, if Goku was had a power level of, let's go, uh, 1, and he would use the Kaioken times 10, his power level would be 10. Added up with the multiplier of 50 for the Super Saiyan, his power level would be 60. Which is better than going with 500 of multiply that would give me a 500. Well, that's one theory, but why does it work? Because Hit himself said, times 3, times 4, exponentially growing. It was like, it seems like he was feeling Goku's power level multiplying, not just the base. So, that kind of doesn't want to work, but I think it can work. Hear me out. Goku, when he talked about the Kaioken, he said it was a uh, Incom incomplete technique, so that means it wasn't perfect, so maybe the multiplier wasn't working as intended, maybe it's not multiplying what he wanted to, or maybe it's just multiplying 10% of what he wanted, because he said it's, there's a 90% chance of it failing, I know it's not a, doesn't have anything to do with nothing, but it's a theory, and that's and another thing about fear is that every time a new preview of the next episode comes along, people go and they go into these heated discussions about the power levels and they mostly get it wrong by the next episode that it is old. They completely explain it and it's nothing like the preview show, so there's that. I think that in episode 40 we'll get a better explanation in the sense of the power scaling. Episode 39 was just woke, I can't send go to punch and oh my god the team song, oh my god so hype, hype. That doesn't go to just find nothing. But yeah, speak going with what I am going. Tracing back the comment, the thought. Only 
of the power level would work. So in reality, a 10 times scale can with the 10% would only result in a double, double of the power. So that would kind of work. His six would go to 12, would be fairly in between beers and whiz. That could work as well. But I don't think that was the case as well. Another explanation is that his auras, his aura, the Kaioken and the blue aura were separated. They could not merge. So that could also help me explaining the theory that it only adds up to the only multiplies his base power level, not the Super Saiyan, because the auras are not together since it's an incomplete technique. He hasn't mastered to hasn't mastered the complete uh, growth or his full power level multiplier multiplication. There's that. Or there's the other theory that it does multiply and yes, Goku goes to have a power level of 60 against the Beerus and goes to have 6 times as power as Beerus has. And that would make him pretty much the strongest him hit because he will keep getting power boosts along the fight. And that is completely ludicrous but Kaioken is a last resort kind of technique so he will not be able to use it for too long. So the question is if he would be able to defeat Beerus and Whis in that short amount of time. Which I don't think it was it's going to happen because gods during the Battle of Gods fight, every time Goku hurt Bills Beerus, like Bills, Beerus, whatever, Beerus, Beerus, every time he did hurt him, he would heal right up. So maybe some part of his godly godly statue statue power stuff can go to self-healing. Maybe that's one of the advantages of being a higher ranking god. Then again Goku did heal with that when he got his chest pierced by Beerus' hand. But I guess that will be settled once we get reactions from Wiz and Beerus and in the next episode. Because Beerus was surprised, Wiz wasn't. But Wiz and Vados are two different because they have never been shown to fight, never been settled on power level and stuff. And they never commented, never show reaction whatsoever. He, they're just standing there, analyzing, looking, learning. Wiz and Vados probably know how the Kaioken works, how can they can use it to better himself, how he can teach Goku to use it without the stamina dropouts. They know that. They are very, very perceptive into analyzing the weaknesses and strategies and stuff. After all, he did learn the Super Saiyan God and taught it to Vegeta, which learned to become a god by himself, by with training. And the last theory that's completely controversial, completely madness, but I kind of like it because that's a fan chosen of mine, is that Super Saiyan God is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, which completely contradicts everything, but kind of... Kinda, I kind of like it because I prefer the Super Saiyan God than the Super Saiyan Blue transformation. I like the red a little more, so yeah. A little bias, bias it and stuff. And because I like that in the in their fight, Beerus and Goku were like, Now I'm fighting at 100%! Wow, I'm fighting at 100% too! Then they would go and clash. Just the notion that Goku God, Super Saiyan God, managed to get Beerus that much angry was so, <laughs> so fun, so mind-blowing, awesome. That fight's still the best one since I actually made a music video about it. Yeah, I'm actually putting it in the description down below. I digress. But yeah, with Super Saiyan God being stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, then the multiplier in Super Saiyan Blue would make him go up and beyond Super Saiyan God and stuff and still be below Beerus level. And now you may be wondering why Beerus, Beerus, has, Beerus has to be stronger than Goku. Because Toriyama said in a recent interview with Tor. Toyotako, Toyota, I don't know his name, but the, the one that draws the Dragon Ball manga that goes along weekly, monthly in the V-Jump. Toriyama said that he doesn't have any plans for Goku and Vegeta to, to surpass Beerus and Whis. So then Goku next week comes along with a Kaioken and surpasses everything, according to what Toriyama stated a couple of years back when he said that Goku was more than half stronger than half half as strong as Beerus. So there's that. Maybe that information's old. We don't know. So 
that wraps up my theories and I think it was a little over whoa almost 12 minutes that was surprising that I managed to talk this long then against Dragon Ball so it's easy and I have more plans well hopefully I was able to enunciate and talk without going completely berserk or not making you able to sorry it's the coffee to under, to, for maybe not making you able to understand what I meant but I hopefully it was clear and I hope you enjoyed it because talking about Dragon Ball is something I been dying to do for so long and I was going to wait for the tournament then make make another music video and stuff well just thinking about making this another consistent in my upload upload uh, what do you call uploading schedule yeah let's say schedule because I have no schedule whatsoever so I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below your thoughts if you have any how did the scene make you feel Personally, I have watched the Kaioken time since seen about uh, 25 times, give or take, <laughs> ever since Sunday, I mean Saturday. And I'm gonna watch it again because that's, <laughs> that's perfect scene. And this is coming from a guy who likes Super ever since episode 1, with episode 5 being a highly, highly hype episode for me because Super Sentry is my favorite transformation and I just love seeing viewers reactions to the different Super Saiyan forms and the fact that those Super Saiyan 2 and 3 got their their screen time to shine the one thing I didn't like about that episode was, was that Goku didn't punch half of the King Ka didn't punch a hole to King Kai's plan instead go and blast Kamehameha but outside of that the episode was perfect to me I only noticed the animation errors when people start complaining about it so yeah I don't go to me when you want to complain about animation because I often overlook it because I literally don't pay attention to it during the first time I'm watching I'm just like wow Though the choreography leaves, leaves a little to be desired, but Super has been increasingly getting better. And I just wonder, I wonder what's going to happen next, like most of you who are watching this, and all the fans out there. Well, this has been I Kevin X, and I will see you next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't know how to call this series. Oh, oh yeah, I got it. Stop this recording and stuff. <laughs>